Right, question nine. It's talking about ribbons in a box, and we've got a table. Uh, there are ribbons that are either green or red or yellow or white. Green, red, yellow, white. The table shows the properties of each being chosen. Work out the property that the ribbon chosen around all yellow. So it's this missing box here. Well, let's just add up 0.15, uh, add that to 0.3, or in this case 0.30, 0.35. Oh, I've run out of space, that's annoying. So if I add all those up, it's 5, and 5 is 10, so it's carry the 1, so it's 1, 2, and then 8. So it's these all add up to 0.8. Now I don't like to have 0 0.80, but that, that that's what it is if we add these up, but we really don't need that 0 on the end, we know that. So let's just take this 0 out and just concentrate on that. So these three add up to 0 0.8. So the total probability will be 1. So if I do 1 minus 0 0.8, I get 0 0.2. You shouldn't write the 0 on the end, even though they have here. I mean, technically, we shouldn't be writing uh, a 0 on the end because it's, there's no need for that decimal. OK, now, next bit. 500 ribbons in a box, work out the number of red ribbons. Well. What we've got to do is the calculation we've got to do is the probability of getting a red, which is 0 0.3, we just need to times that by 500. Well, there's a couple ways of doing it. I know that 0 0.3 times 100 is a 30% chance or 0 0.3 probability, so in every 100 we'd expect to get 30. That's what I'd expect to get. But we're doing it 500 times, so I'd expect to get 5 times bigger. So I'd expect to get 150 to, as an estimate. And that's it.